that. I won't trade you. Fucking jump scare. Oh my. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Max, it's time. Oh my god, fucking jump scared me. Holy shit. Howdy everybody, my name is Silver Fatigue and welcome back to Life is Strange Double Exposure. Uh, basically what happened in the last episode is our best friend Safi died, we made the decision that Chloe Price is dead, and we are basically just starting off right after Safi died and we were looking at this wall that you're gonna see. <gasps> Right now! If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met. Oh my god, there's so many things to look at. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a Milagros Midwest. A Mexican joint in I don't Iowa care. name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Nah. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. A punk band out of Oakland. She was- That's cool. Enthusiastic. What does that mean? Oh, is that it? Also, yes, I am eating cheese. I love to snack in game. Ten twenty four AM must be. Amanda. Two missed calls from Amanda. Three missed calls from Amanda. Okay, go enjoy the meteors and don't let Moses freeze. He will try to stay out all night. Before I forget, too late. If you want more dumb jokes, I have a comedy account at the turtle. Dash at um and a uh, comedy. No pressure though. Max, I just heard about Safi. You okay, hun? No need to respond. I just want to check in. Okay, I lied. I'm worried and a response would help, but I understand. That's it, Max. I'm coming over. That's so... Fuck. She went through all of that alone. Oh, God. Um, my apologies, but I received an alert from my bank that a purchase in excess of 200 was made at the Snapping Turtle on my credit card. Sophia isn't answering her phone, and I was wondering if you had seen her. She's not in trouble. I just want to know. Maxine? Maxine, where are you? I haven't heard from Sophia, and I'm starting to worry. Did you tell her I'm not mad about her splurging at the snapping turtle? I know how impulsive she can be. She's not answering her phone and I don't know what to do. Maxine, please, if you hear from her, call me immediately or have her call me. My god, Maxine, I am lost. I am so lost. The detectives from the Lakeport Police Department just left. I told them to speak with you. Inshallah, you have more information for them than I can provide. She was my only child. I did everything to protect her and yet still this, this. I'll be in my office today. Maybe work will take my mind off of it. Please come by if you are able. Work did not take my mind off of it. I saw her everywhere I looked. I came home after 45 minutes and slept for 11 hours. Why aren't you answering your phone? Are you angry with me? I would understand, but silence is most painful of all. Grieve however you must, but please don't shut me out. Not now, not like this. I'll be in my office again today. I don't know what else to do. I do not know what else to do. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm doing my best not to lose my shit and it is not working. Update. Went to my lab to think, but still freaking out. Please get back to me when you can. I assume you're also processing what happened and I get that, but I'm feeling all alone here. Are you okay, Max? Any sign at all would be greatly appreciated right about now. Alright, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Emphasis on try. Hope you're able to do the same. Moses, I'm so sorry. I'm just now texting you back. I've been in a fugue state ever since, and the thought of even looking at my phone made me more depressed. I hear you, Max. It's hard enough to deal with this, and harder still thinking I was dealing with it alone. I know, and I'm sorry. 
You're not alone, not in this, not in anything. Thanks, Max. I should try to get a little rest before tomorrow. And if you get the energy to come to campus, come find me. We should talk. Oh my god, this happens every time I start recording. As soon as I start recording, suddenly my septum gets so itchy. And it's only when I'm recording. Deal, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's morning somehow. Sleep was pretty much non-existent. Imagine you didn't sleep much either. I'm scheduled to meet with Yasmin today and I'm not sure what to do. Wish me luck, I guess. Okay. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I forgot. Amanda's coming I'm over. A mess. Time to clean some houses. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. Dear Miss Caulfield, it is with the utmost pleasure on behalf of myself and my esteemed colleagues here at Caledon University that I inform you of your selection as the Hellerton Visiting Artist for the coming school year. We have been following your work and your trajectory for quite some time and are honored to have you share your wisdom and light with our students. During your time at our campus, you will be staying at Hellerton House, a rustic and cozy home a short walk to campus, which has all the modern amenities you require. Oh my god. I imagine you will have many questions and if so, feel free to reach out to this or via email. I look forward to working with you and seeing the works you produce. That's sweet. The high point of the series. Maybe second time's a heart. That's bad. You can debate me, but I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? That's so sad. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. Yeah, that's and whatever. Giallo, that's really saying something. Okay, let's get dressed. Oh! I picked this. Thank you. She looks cute in this. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Sophie were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. That's cute. I wish I could remember what Sophie said, but I... I've already forgotten. And that's okay. It's okay to His not remember. His computers come back more times than Jason Voorhees. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write. Let alone to keep that professional tone all the way through. As your university president, I write to inform you that in light of the recent passing of one of our beloved Caledon students, classes and planned special events will be cancelled until further notice. This is a difficult decision, and I know many of you were looking to the end of term activities for which our campus is famous, and I hope you understand my reasons for doing so. Losing one of our own, whom a number of you knew personally, is not easy, and I want to assure you that grief counselors will be available to you at no cost should you feel the need. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time, should she need it. I hope you can forgive me for the more formal tone in my earlier email to faculty, staff, and students. These have been some of the hardest days of my life, and if I'm being completely honest, I feel like I'm adrift. It's a wonder I'm holding it together at all. I know you and a few others were very close with Sophia, and I pray you'll understand if I reach out to you or lean on you for some support in the coming days. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. Relatable. Oh, her guitar. I love her plays. I have a lamp very similar to that. Yeah, she has a big place. Pupil and Iris. This baby wow. got me an international photography award and a spread in National Geographic. Sophie. Sophie got me the frame. Stop! I'm gonna cry. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. Moses loves this. I prompt the premiere oh my God. the discerning gore. Legend has it, Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. This isn't one of mine. How'd this get here? 
Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Huh. A Neb hater like Safi. Interesting. But how did it get... Oh, because you're staying in like a multi-purpose place. Like most of the stuff was probably already here. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. That's such a cute look. Me for realsies. Me for see real. A two monument to my sadness today. I I am I am Max. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Oh, that's so sad. Good to know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. Dad and I took a weekend trip down to the old town and thought you'd get a kick out of this card. We're so excited to hear about how you're settling in at Kaladin. We knew you could accomplish anything you set your mind to, and it sounds like we weren't wrong. That's sweet. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. Arcadia Bay Beacon, Tragedy Befalls Blackwell, former student gunned down in bathroom by Prescott Prodigy. Tragic murder reveals serial killer among Blackwell Academy staff. Chloe Price, 19, former student at a card at Arcadia Bay's Blackwell Academy was the fatal victim of a senseless act of violence this past week. You know, what's interesting is I chose that she died, but there are so many things in here, so many like voice lines and so many like little things like that that would be different if I hadn't. Oh, the journal. Hey, the funeral was today. It felt like the whole town came. It was a beautiful service. You would have hated it. I hated it. The storm is gone. Everybody is safe. It's like it never happened. It never happened. I started a new journal because the old one is full of lies now. I can feel the power underneath my skin. If I wanted to, I could go back and see you again. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll break the world again. You asked me to save everything else and let you go, so that's what I did. Fuck you. I miss you. Autumn smells different here. I'm sitting beneath palm trees, but I can still feel the changing of the seasons. Back at home, it's probably already cold at night. I can't imagine that here. I know LA was yours and Rachel's place. I hope you don't mind that I'm here instead, or that your mom gave me your old truck. That thing is such a piece of shit. I wonder what you guys would have done if you ever made it here. You deserved everything, let alone making it past your 19th birthday. It's selfish of me, but I'm glad I got you to myself for the short amount of time that I did. I'm fine being selfish. This town I'm in is so tiny it doesn't even have a post office. It looks like one of those places you'd expect to have, like the world's biggest soup spoon or whatever. But there's just one stoplight and one diner. I can see the stoplight from the diner. I used to think Arcadia Bay was tiny, shows you where hubris can get you. This group of college kids uh, passing through got all excited when they saw my camera, and I ended up getting some really great shots. I gave most of the photos away, though. Uh, away, though. One of the students tried to pick me up, I think, but I pretended not to notice. You would have called me clueless, and you'd be right. This book is dusty. I found it after two days of looking. This is what I get for keeping my shit in storage. The letter from Caledon made me think about school, which made me think about you, which made me think about this book. When I met Yasmin Fayad at my show in Boston, I had no idea she was the president of a prestigious liberal arts college. She was just some hot older lady who seemed to really want to be my friend. The artist in residence lodgings were described as a cottage in the onboarding materials, but it's the size of my last three apartments combined. It'd be a great place to bring friends over, if I had any. September 20th. Picture it, I'm sitting in President Fayad's office on my first day, and in comes this girl in acid wash jeans and a Dolce & Gabbana jacket. She says hi to me like we've been friends for years, reaches over the president's desk and snags her keys and announces she's taking the car, and her too. 
We went and got ice cream in her mom's Porsche. Oh, right. She's Yasmin Fayad's daughter. Safia Llewellyn Fayad. A grad- I probably butchered that. A grad student at Caledon. She declared Rocky Road the best ice cream of all time and told me the jeans were an experiment that wasn't really working. That was almost a month ago, and I see her almost every day now. We're friends, I guess. It's been a while. November 5th. Did I mention that part of the Caledon artist in resident deal is seminars? Like teaching lectures and students coming to them and learning? In a hall? With slides? I tried to tell Yasmin that I don't have any teaching experience, but what was I supposed to say? Sorry, my only photography class was the two months in senior year I was infatuated with a hot teacher who turned out to be a psychotic pervert and murderer who kidnapped me to his secret bunker? I can't even get through a lesson plan without thinking about Jefferson. Despite that, people seem to like the seminars. There's a couple students in particular that I think have a lot of potential. Is this a teacher emotion? That is a sick piece of art. Safi's always encouraging me to do normal people stuff, and today it planned out, because I've got to date motherfuckers. I was a little scared, I've seen Amanda make a guy cry and give him a free beer after, but we clicked. Hard, I think. Safi did ask about you earlier, but I sidestepped that convo like a wild bear. Talking about the dead is a mood killer. I have a feeling she'll bring it up again. Not again, not again, not again. Oh, that's sad. That's so sad. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. One minute, I'll deal with you in a second, Amanda. Not sure if the doorbell works. The Lakeport cop investigating. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? <laughs> I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick me up I've had the last. If only a strong cup of coffee. Or five. Mmm. Grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like Safi. That's so sad. I'm just gonna. I can go downstairs. There's more? There's more to this fucking house? I will answer the phone eventually, I swear. It's uh, lovely weather we're having out here, but. It's probably nicer indoors. Yeah, I'll get Every to you. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not Shutterbud 420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. The original <laughs> award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that when Bro, she's country, like got like a massive like setup down here. Okay. I should let Amanda in before she freezes. Okay. Fine, I'll answer the door. I guess! Hey, Hi, Amanda. Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. <laughs> go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> I mean, my style fits it. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. 
I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. I love the echo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. Um. <laughs> Unintentional. <laughs> you must not have heard of him. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then. I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. <laughs> I As soon as the subtitles popped eat, up, man. I was like... The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. I love Amanda. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So... I don't know. Tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out, but honestly, you've got a lot on your plate, emotionally. Uh, that's, I mean, she's right. You know, you're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. That's hard. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. God, that's hard. Like, I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Fucking love it. Whoa, there was an option there for double exposure. I didn't even see that. How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? God, it's so awkward. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Even Amanda's stressed. Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Yes. Yes. Sadly, I have. It 
doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. <sighs> A bitter bomb. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. Oh, it's such I a cute outfit. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> I don't know, you kind of, like, added some, like, stress to it. I'll walk with you. By saying friend. Like, you kind of added extra stress to it and kind of made it awkward. So. I mean, like, you, I mean, you weren't in the wrong. It's just, like, you kind of, you made it awkward. Like, I mean, it's just how it is. Like. Wow, those textures. There we go. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. <laughs> well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. <laughs> Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. I love her! Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. So many people to talk to. Oh, thank god I can't talk to any of you. So, how'd you two meet? The dating apps? The produce aisle? No entry. I mean, sounded like she really wanted to talk. I'm glad that there's like less people to talk Hang to. Hang in there, David. Like I'm not Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi too. Like like I love Life is Strange games as much as the next person, but I hate it when there's so many fucking people to talk to. Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, you get seven years of good luck. Hi, well, you catch me not doing that. The thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. No turtle for me. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. Uh, oh god. I'll been extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? That's Loretta something. I've seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. Okay. Sorry, it's just I'm not like I love Life is Strange games. I love the lore. I love the story. It's just sometimes there's so much. And I just... It seems like there's a lot less in this one than there was in the previous games. But it's still a lot.
I'll head over to Admin to see Yasmin soon. Wow, I like this place. It's a shame. I was so looking forward to being terrorized by Saint Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick. Instructor's office. <clears throat> Is that a penguin head in the spokes? Oh. God, this is such a nicer like game. It's so less crowded. I should go to the admin building before Yasmin. Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. Too little, too late. Interesting. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going. Oh, that's cool. Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. That's cool. That, like, most of these are my words. Hi. One Earl Grey, please. Sure thing. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. Push me You're the to best the floor, boy, show me how to I haven't stayed in one place this long since. Well, it's been a while. I almost forgot what belonging feels like. And now, this. Now, Sophie. I should have known better than to hope things would be different. Sometimes, it feels like I'm cursed. Like, no matter how fast and far I run, the past is still gonna find me. God, those segues are so good. That's awesome. Then, okay. Yeah? You good with this? Assassin's buddies? I'm good with it. So, how are we going to do this? Do we just sound the alarm if we see each other's assassins? Right, yeah. Text me, hey Alice, I saw your assassin just now. The fab is a danger zone. Something like that. <laughs> Here, let's exchange numbers. Uh, okay. No, oh, all right. Pretty okay. goth girl wants my number. Come on, Mark. I'm going, Max. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut the fuck up. God damn. Okay. Yasmin's office is down the hall. I love this place. I love the decor in this place. Thanks. Wow. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? I wish I understood that reference. We playing it? My 
Maya Okada. Her name was on the plaque for that tree outside. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? Nothing makes you feel alone, like a chair made for two. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. Yeah. If only you could do both. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to have never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Guess everyone's t too literary for YA these days. Coward. Must have been a pretty penny in the middle of Vermont winter. I guess Abraxas has some extra cash to throw around with Krampus. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. Okay, let's write them. Never forget you. You'll never know all you did for me from welcoming me to being a friend when I needed it. It's fine, I guess. But what I really feel, it's fine, I guess. But what I really feel isn't meant for public consumption. You'll never know all you did for me, from welcoming me to Kaladin to being a friend when I needed it most. I'll never forget that, and I'll never forget you. Love, Max. Oh, it's so sad. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Really giving me expensive car dealership <laughs> vibes. I hate that. Howdy, Ven. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. Shut the How fuck dare up, she then. use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Yeah, you fucking better Thanks. be. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person, and we're all gonna miss her. Why are you like this? You two knew each other? She never told me. I mean, her mom is my boss. <laughs> why is he so suspicious? And why is he so... It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> that saying well, it through fucking gritted teeth. Now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. I fuck does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> God, he's so annoying. I fucking hate him. Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. 
I can't tell if he's an asshole or if he's an asshole. Like, I can't... Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the... Gwen? All good? Uh... Max. I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? She's really pretty. World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? <laughs> the home invader? Fuck yeah. Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. <laughs> That's so cute. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny? This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Okay, but like, do that or just like... Where's the library? Is there a map? Gwen, your book's fucking right here. to admit, this is a bigger outpouring for Safi than I expected. The student died when I was- That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Hmm. Need another pen. Interesting. Maybe I can find a pen in here? Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! Got it! Look at me! I'm just being a UPS delivery man. So no to the scissors. Interesting. Spoon. So I can either break into the lock, or I can just give the... the copy. Hmm. Fuck it, let's pick the lock. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! 
You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? She was happy about something, but she wouldn't tell us what it was. Typical Safi. Yeah, God, that girl and her fucking secrets. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Interesting. I don't know what that helped me with, but it helped me with something. Oh, hey, Moses. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and... I'll find you when I'm done? I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Give them a chance. I'm sure they're doing their best. This is their best? What a horrifying thought. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but... I kinda gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, Police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Okay, sorry. If she took her own life... Absolutely not. Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. Yeah, it's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes 
The people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry if there's less commentary in this one. I, I'm just very much like I'm into sorry. the story. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but... I'm torn between this one and this one. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. Not reading all that. God, she has four Yale things or three Yale things. I already found the package. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Here Take you your package, Vin. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Don't tell me we're becoming we're friends. We're not. Trust me, we're not. Or more than friends? All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> Your face looks oily. I don't like All you. All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At I least hate not him. If you're smart. I so hate what him. Do you want? Nothing now, but you'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> so what, I can romance him price. too? God, stop. The bisexuality of this man is screaming at me. Like, that's great for you, dude. You're not my type at all. Okay, I know that we got like nowhere in this episode. I am so sorry for that. I will try and make the next few episodes faster and more talker. Um, I guess just this episode was really boring, I guess. Um, it's a good game though. Love the game. It's just, this is kind of like the moment where they're like switching from like all the, like the initial and they're like ramping up the story. So it takes time. And maybe I could be going through these sections a little faster. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, leave a comment down below, like the video, share the video, subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. Drained. Shut up, Max. <laughs> uh, subscribing really helps the channel out and makes me feel more motivated to keep uploading videos and keep doing more content. So if you guys are wanting to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyways. This is Silver Fatigue, logging off.